saying? Is that you? Do you know what it sounded like? Somebody's walking on gravel. There's no gravel out there. I wasn't touching anything, but there was a knock straight from behind me. Hi guys, welcome back to Hontex TV. Welcome to another episode. Sadie and I are in Warwickshire at an abandoned, a very, very abandoned pub. And remember the Hontex TV experience. If you see anything at all, hear anything, please do comment down in the comment section of this video and investigate with us. If there's any spirits here that want to connect with us this evening, I'd like to introduce myself and thank you for letting me into your pub. My name's Sadie. And my name is Ali. Is there anybody here that wants to communicate with us or speak to us? I'm sure this used to be a lovely pub back in its day. There'd be a lot of people pass through the doors, a lot of happy memories. A lot of traffic. What you'll probably hear guys is a bit of traffic. There is a road right outside and there's not many windows. Um, well, there's windows, but you know, glass wise and everything like that. There's not many windows that are actually intact. So yeah, might hear a bit of traffic. Um, so yeah, let's take that into consideration. And the guy here obviously can't drive. Spirits from the north, south, east and the west, please come to this area and do your best. Asking for all the gateways to be open from the physical side of life to the non-physical world, the spirit side of life. And asking for all non-physical beings to step forward into this vicinity and show us your presence and how you would like to communicate with us. Please can you knock on something? Hello? If that was you, could you knock again? Train. Could you knock again? It's definitely a rapping and tapping. If 
you have just tapped, if you have just tapped at the top of the bar, could you do it again? Please. Could you tap again, please? Is there anybody here from the non-physical world that can hear my voice vibration? If you can, and you are here with us, can you knock on the bar for us, please? Knock on the bar. Is there anybody that wants to come and pour us a pint while we're here? Can you give us a rapper tapping sound where you are? If there's anybody who used to drink here, who's passed away, come forward. We mean you no harm at all. This is a safe place. What's that? Yeah. Oh, it's an airplane. I heard you tapping before. Definitely heard you tapping. Can you tap again, please? What? Yes. Eh? Oh. Can you copy this? Tell us where you are. Can you come forward towards us, please? I've got a device there. It'll light up. Yellow. And red, if you go close to it. If you go really close to it. 
it'll light up red. Can you come towards that? Why don't you knock it over? They give you full permission to come forward with all your energy and give us a sign and proof, evidence of the non-physical world, please. In there, what? Over there. Where? Something knocked, tapped. What in here? Tapping sounds over there, where I'm pointing. Over there. Right. Over there. By there. The yes, right there. Um, there's like some tapping sounds as you was talking. I have done a couple of times, to be fair, but what? not loud enough for me to say, oh, there's tapping. But then when you spoke, there was a couple of taps. You don't have to be afraid. just come to find some stories of your pub. Did you used to work here? It's fucking behind me, wasn't it? Yeah, it is, there is a bit coming from over there. Hello? And there. Yeah, that's why I'm there. But right behind me. Yeah. I mean, I mean the thing is, though, there's nothing over there. There's nothing there behind me that could have gone off. You know what I mean? Like knocking or anything. Like that. I I wasn't even leaning on train. Big train. I wasn't leaning on anything at all. Do you know what I mean? I wasn't touching anything, but there was a knock straight from behind me, and then toilet way as well. Alright. Car looked like it just had its headlights on it, and that was it. Is it gone? Yeah. Again, if there's anybody here from the non-physical world, could you use all your energy, please? Communicate with us and give us a rapping and tapping sound of where you are right now. In between the cars, it's it's quiet and it's really still. Mm. There's no wind, obviously. You know, no wind at all. No, there is a lot of openings to this place, but it's a really still evening. But in between the cars, it is really quiet. Mm. And this pub, like, it literally stands on its own with no buildings around it. And obviously, there is nobody living upstairs. It's completely abandoned. So... I can't really find any reason why there'd be loads of creeks and stuff. 
so there's a device on the wooden beam. Could you step close to it, please? You can turn the lights to orange and then red. make another tapping noise. Can we hear your footsteps, please? Let us hear your footsteps around this vicinity. There's glass on the floor. Can you use your energy to let us hear walking around this area or throw something within the vicinity of the pub itself? The bar itself. Could you show yourself, please? It's a person. I have footsteps. Oh. Where? What? I have footsteps. Did so, you hear it? Yeah. Hello? What? Do you think it's people? Hey? No, so what is putting on a torch? Hello? There's somebody there, an actual living person. If there is, I highly recommend that you show yourself. It's a car, it's a car, I remember like um, a bump in the road. That was a car, yeah. Yeah, but I definitely heard yeah. footsteps. Did you hear the footsteps then? Yeah. I heard something. Do you know what it sounded like? Somebody's what? walking on gravel. There's yeah. no gravel out there, no, is there? No, it's glass. No, come on, we need to go and have a look then. We need to check it out. Yeah. We've got another torch around. No. It might be the side of glass, though. It's like scraping. Yeah, I don't know what it was. But there's no gravel outside. Hey. You know, like it sounds like you know, like somebody come up our driveway and like yeah. just shuffle. Well, we've got proper gravel, yeah. yeah. Gravel. We've come up here now to where we hear the footsteps or the the shuffling sound. Um, 
if you can communicate with us even more, if that was, we're not, we're not saying it was spirit, but if it was, can you do it again, please? Can you make the same sound or something similar? Just to clarify it was you. Come on, if that was you, from the spirit side of life, from the non-physical world, could you make the same noise of what you made? It was like footsteps, even though I asked for that, didn't I? Yeah. Eh? Yeah. I did ask you to make the sound like footsteps, so I thank you so much for doing that. But we need to make sure it was definitely from the non-physical world. So can you make that noise again for us, please? Bit louder, please. If you can see us standing here, if you can hear our voices, can you make those footsteps again? Mine. My foot. Because oh, there's loads of glass everywhere, isn't there? Yeah, yeah but that's a good thing. If, um, Gives them sounds, yeah. Yeah. So if. if you know, when it's, it's walking on glass, you know, to me, I know there's glass. Yeah, there. it's obvious. It's only me and you. Because of the weight. So again, we now invite. Break. Yeah. We invite the energy of the non physical world to come closer and mix with ours as one. Use all our energies. Collaborate with us to provide the proof of the non physical world, the afterlife. Can you do that for us, please? We're stood in your kitchen now. Can you come into the bar area? Because we're in the kitchen now. Can you make a noise for us outside in the bar? Knock on something, please. Cross from your world into our world here in this physical life. Open all gateways for communication, 
from the non-physical world to this physical life. Train. Yep, a lot of trains. Didn't realise this. It's a lot. It's probably a cargo train. I take it that's why there's a train line going around the top of your pub because you're so close to the train track. Is there anything you'd like to tell us? Why did the pub close? What happened? Can you copy this, please? It's probably never been worked, this place. Like, like I say, between... No, but this place has probably never been fully fully concentrated on investigation wise yeah. of the paranormal yeah. anyway. Um only the occasional one maybe. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So between the traffic, I know like obviously like the windows are out and stuff, but between the traffic it is really it is really quiet and really still. So if you catch this place on a good night, mm. it is really quiet. It's not on a Friday night. <laughs> yeah but I think well Obviously, as the night goes on, the traffic will go down a little bit, I guess. It's not mega busy, but because the windows have gone and the doors have gone. Yeah. And, I mean, this pub, it's not, it's not near a housing estate. It's not even near a house. It literally no. stands alone on its own on a country lane. Yeah. So the noise pollution is literally just the cars and the train going by. That is it. Yeah. You only have people walking by, or there's, there's absolutely nothing nearby, is there? No. from the non-physical world, the afterlife. We're now in the cellar, in the basement. Could you come forward, give us a sign? Show us your presence. Is this safe? Is there anyone from the non-physical world with us now, please? If there is, could you give us a sign? Rap or tap on something? Whistle? Just my foot, I think. Mm -hmm. So it was right beside my foot. Yeah, it was 
We're obviously now underneath the pub in this little fusty, well it's not little, it's quite a good sized cellar to be fair, in the fusty cellar. Now everybody who works or has lived in the pub has always been afraid of the cellar. Can you tell us why? Me? Who says that? They do. People that have oh, lived in right. pubs or worked in pubs and never want to go down into the cellar. Can you give us a reason why we should be frightened of this cellar? How do we know if you're here? Why don't you show yourself to us? Did you pass away in this pub? Did you die here? My foot. Yeah. There's a lot of shit all over the floor. Yeah, but I mean, you're not saying if it's this. Come on now, if there's anybody here from the afterlife, could you give us some kind of sign? However, you wish to communicate with us, whether it's a flash of light, tapping, rapping, imprinting your voice, imprinting your energy onto our devices to speak, to say something, whistle. Can you do something now, please? We've come here to get your story. Anybody above us that wants Come towards my hand. I've got a device here. I'm just moving my foot so I'm not going to make a noise. Right. I've got a device in my hand. It's just a recorder. It's going to record your energy. It's going to record your voice. It's a dictaphone. 
Can you place on here your voice, a message? Tell us your name or tell us anything else that you desire to say to us. Have you got a message? So if you are here with us from the non-physical world, the afterlife, please come forward to the device in my hand. It's not going to hurt you. All you need to do is place your energy onto it. Could you please tell us your name? Again. You don't know when the cars are coming, do you? Of course you don't. We're down in the I know, it's too... Tell us your name, please. Did you used to work here in this pub? Have you got a message for us, please? Have a listen back. Did you used to work here in this pub? Paranormally and all that. 
like there's not really much going on, is there, paranormally here? No. Like spiritually or anything no. like that, there's not really much of a presence in a sense, do you know what I mean? No. It's uh, possibly like a bit of residual type energy, but there has to be have been something entering because there was some knocks earlier on. Yeah, there were. But it's like a lot of energy getting just maybe a lot of energy being used and then nothing. Mm. I don't know. It's it's just it's it's not an overly paranormally spiritually active place, maybe. Come on then, if there's anybody here from the non-physical world, please make your presence known to us now. We've come here for a chat, for a bit of an old natter about the good old days at this beautiful pub. Mine's a black and tan, please. What would you like from the bar? time we've been here by the way I've just been seeing how it kind of develops and all that kind of stuff but no oh. what it's trying to follow our face hmm. probably my own god knows but um no the whole time that we've been here it's like I've I've just wanted to see how it's kind of developed and everything like that, but the, just the name Ed keeps coming in Ed. Yeah, not like Edward, but Ed. Just Ed. Keeps popping in and keeps popping in. And I thought, I'll not really kind of say anything. And then all of a sudden, it just keeps popping in. Keeps saying. Is that you? Possibly. You sure? Was it? I thought it came from down there. I don't know. I don't know, to be fair. I don't know. Hello, Ed. Is there anybody in the non-physical world connected to this pub called Ed? If there is, could you knock on something? Is there an Ed here that used to come to the pub, work at the pub? The name Ed's coming in for a reason. So if there is anybody who has passed away in the non-physical world with the name of Ed, Attached to this pub, connected to this pub, make yourself known, please. Ed? 
Are you down here? Are you in the basement with us? Could have been a truck or something. Or... I don't know, that the train, I'd be a bit worried if I were on that train. Yeah. So the wheels are going to fall off. Who lurks in the basement? Come on out. I'm just going to take my foot off here, then I, there's no noise going to come from me. There you go. Come and make a noise down in the basement, please, if there's anyone called Ed. Ed, if you are here with us and you can hear my voice vibration, if your name is Ed, can you let us know by making a sound, rapping or tapping? Please see us on our way by giving us one last thing, one last piece of communication, please. A knock wherever you are. Can you do that, please? What? I heard that. Thank you. Thank you very much. We heard that loud and clear. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Where did it come from? Do you Kitchen. Know? I think. Didn't it? I don't know. Can you make that noise again? Or did you make that noise because you thought we were going to head off now? So you made the noise? Either way, thank you so much. If there's any way you could knock again, just like you did. If you want us to leave, knock twice. If you want us to stay, knock once. Once for stay, twice to leave. We heard you, we heard that tap. There's no other way any rappings and tappings could possibly 
even be made in this place. One last, one last piece of evidence, one last wrapping or tapping, or even, even better, use all your energy and throw something at us. Could you ring the bell at the bar? Barney think it's time to leave. Eh? Think it's time to leave. Well, I think it's not getting much more active or anything. It's, again, it's like hit and miss. It's like little tiny little bits. I mean, you know, whether, you know, any sort of, you know, any vibration from trains or anything going past is knocking anything or anything like that, you know, I don't know. But, when we're asking for our stuff, it, it it was giving it, but it was tiny little bits. It's very small, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not a lot, is it? It's not like huge. It's not. You know what I mean? As I say, it's not overly paranormally no. active, spiritually active, but there's tiny bits. You know, isn't it? It's just. But you've even got to be grateful for those tiny bits. Oh, yeah. Oh, if, well, absolutely. If they, if they are paranormal. Well, the thing is, though, right, we ask, and at certain points, things have happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's not what I would call, and I keep saying it, but it's not, it's not what I would call paranormally and spiritually fully active. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I, I just, it's just an opinion, you know, from experience here. Well, thank you to the landlords and the landladies of this pub. Thank you for letting us in. And if there is any non-fiscal being named Ed, well, thank you as well. Thank you for coming forward placing a name but as I say expect the unexpected with the Hauntex TV experience sometimes you win sometimes you don't you know what I mean mm -hmm. but at least we're keeping it real as always and if it's there it's there and if it's not, it's not, you know? And that is the wonderful thing about paranormal investigation. You just don't know what you're going to experience. You don't know what you're going to receive. It's been a pleasure, I always enjoy it. Always, no matter if we get anything mm. or if we don't, you know. That's the thing, I appreciate well, you don't know. the locations, love history. Yeah. Love the buildings that we come into, no matter what. Shame that they get trashed, but you're never going to stop that anyway. But no, because you're always going to get those kind no. of clowns, aren't you? So I've enjoyed this one, and on to the next one. Another location, mm -hmm. another investigation, and uh, yeah. Another one in the bank. Yeah.
So guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching right to the end. Thank you so much for all your kind support and make sure to like this episode, share it with all your friends, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe for more Hontex TV episodes. From Siri and I, from this amazing abandoned pub, take care. Bye, guys. And Thank see you, you on the next one. Bye. Bye. Let's get out of here. Skedaddle. Scram. Get out of my pub.